up, it's Toya. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I post videos every Thursday, but for the month of March, I've been posting videos every Monday and Thursday, usually vlog style videos on Mondays and beauty and fashion related videos and lifestyle related videos on Thursday. And of course, in my vlog videos, you guys kind of get a sneak peek of how I'm wearing my hair, the clothes I'm wearing. I'm really excited about this next one coming up because it's new and it's gonna be my skydiving experience. Yes. Yes, I was in the air and I skydived twice, so you don't want to miss that. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. This video is a combination of a small update and a hair tutorial with the better length clip-in extensions that I have been loving. I've been using them for the past four months, so I definitely have a pretty um, good update on this hair since I've been using it forever, I feel like. This is what the hair looks like four months later. Now when I first got it, the curls were a lot more uniform, but as you wear it, I kind of feel like it looks more natural, gets a lot frizzier. And the way that I've been blending this hair, this texture and my texture clearly don't match. But what I've been doing is I've been twisting out my hair so that it kind of matches this texture a little bit more. My twist out texture kind of matches this. And then I've been styling it in updos. The other alternative would be what I did for my very first one and that was blow out the hair and wear it loose all 20 inches. I have the 20 inch ones. Now this hair is like super affordable. You guys, I have yet to use a full pack. I still can't use a full pack. So it gives you a ton of versatility with that. I use basically two thirds of a pack. Um, let's talk about the shedding. I treat this like curly hair. So I finger detangle just like I finger detangle my hair. I don't use a comb on it. I have before and I got a lot more shedding, so you probably don't want to do that unless you're getting one of their straighter textures. Um, yeah, so when you're washing it, you definitely want to wash with either a moisturizing shampoo or a conditioner um, because this hair is just like ours. It's 100% human hair and it will shed. Even when I'm raking my fingers through it, on a scale from like low shedding, medium to high, I take medium shedding and that's because when I style my hair, this is what it ends up looking like after about a week of wear. Um, and you, I'm gonna show you guys the difference here. So this is like a freshly washed and this is after it's been styled for a week. With all that being said, let's get on to this tutorial. This is my hair in a fresh twist out. Now I'm taking the back half of my hair and I am twisting it up as if it were a French twist and I'm securing it with a straight pin. Now with the excess hair at the top, I'm gonna take a ponytail holder and I'm going to make a ponytail right at the crown of my head. Now to prep my hair for the better length extensions, I'm taking that loose hair and I'm going to wrap it around itself and create a bun. Once that's secure, you're gonna take your clip-in extensions and you're gonna wrap it around that ponytail, old school style. Now when you're wrapping, just make sure the clips are open so that you can slide them into your hair and close them. This is gonna make sure that the ponytail and the clip-ins are secure. Taking a little bit of coconut oil, you can put it on the hair just to give it some shine. And then you're going to take that loose hair and also wrap that in a bun. If you want a little bit more thickness, add a second track. Now working with the front of the hair. For this style, I really wanted bangs, so if you do, just make sure you take some of the hair from the front and clip that away. And now we're gonna work with that middle section. 
So take it and part it down the middle, creating two sections. Now in each section, we're gonna thicken up that hair and add some length by putting some clip-in extensions within the parts that we create. Now you can also make ponytails and wrap the hair around the ponytail, but this is just another method in case you're wanting to wear the hair loose and you don't want any of the tracks to show. Now in order to make sure your buns are sleek, take some gel and smooth down your edges. Take a ponytail holder and make a ponytail. Repeat on the other side. Now really at the top, you can do any design that you desire. For this, I am, I don't even know what to call this style, to be honest. Um, I'm just making sure that the hair is up, it's secure, and that eventually the ends are going to be tucked away so that this could be a true protective style. I feel like when it's done, it kind of looks like one of those cinnamon rolls, like the bow tie ones, <laughs> like the twisty ones with the glaze. You guys know what I'm talking about. I feel like it looks like that. Let me know in the comments if you have a name for whatever this is. <laughs> Now, if you wanna switch things up and you don't want a fully protective style, you can of course leave the bangs out and take down that ponytail. I actually decided to use the clip-ins in the back and have some loose hair just because I wanted a little bit more flow. Now, if your hair is short like mine, you may need to use a tail comb or a thin comb to blend the two textures together. So I'm just combing through the ends of my hair to blend it with the clip-in extensions. And voila, now my hair is blended with the extensions. Now to give myself some fullness on the bottom, I took that hair and I also separated it. I eventually did end up twisting this hair up in the back, which you'll see in the later clip, just so that I can get more of a protective style. <laughs> 